Hey everyone, AJ here at the Negative Supply Headquarters, and today we wanted to take an opportunity to make a quick video demonstrating the modularity of our ProMount Mark II. So apart from the modularity and adaptability of our ProMount Mark II, you're also going to get precision leveling feet with the ProMount, you're going to get a dust removal brush with your ProMount, and the ProMount itself, the metal plate that it consists of, helps to block extraneous light from striking your negative during the scanning process. So the leveling feet are actually just on the bottom of the ProMount. They're one inch long and they screw in and out as, as needed. So there's a variety of situations where that can be very helpful. Later on, I'm gonna show you how this works with our four x five basic light source and how you would actually raise those leveling feet to put the light source underneath. So another thing that is very helpful with the ProMount Mark II, and one of the things that really informed the development of this tool is a spot to have a dust removal brush. If you've ever scanned film, you know dust is the enemy. It's gonna add tons of time to spot healing and removing dust on your scans, but this little tool right here will cut back drastically on that time and empower you to spend more time making photographs and less time scanning and editing them. So far in this video, you've seen our ProMount Mark II with our 35 millimeter adapter plate installed. You can find this adapter plate in pretty much all of our kit offerings besides our 35 millimeter basic kit, or you can buy it with our ProMount Mark II a la carte or the plate on its own with or without our dust removal brush. So once your plate's installed, Attaching your Film Carrier Mark I is pretty easy. Simply locate the circular cutout on the bottom of your Film Carrier Mark I and you're gonna line it up with the circular magnet on the ProMount Mark II. This is gonna provide for a very secure attachment. That's it. Shortly after the launch of our Film Carrier Mark I, Many of our users and supporters and Kickstarter backers from around the world started asking early and often for a way to scan their 35 millimeter mounted slides. We responded last fall by launching our mounted slide holder. This works really easily and it's designed to work seamlessly with your ProMount Mark II. Simply take your ProMount Mark II and 35 millimeter adapter plate. And again, just like our Film Carrier Mark I and the way it attaches to the ProMount, you're gonna find the circular cutout on the bottom of your mounted slide holder Line it up with the magnet on the ProMount plate, and you're good to go. So I wanted to quickly demonstrate how you change the inner plates when you're going from your Film Carrier Mark I to your Film Carrier 120. And uh, so far in the demo, you've seen us using this ProMount Mark II, which has our updated thumb screws on it. Chances are you probably don't have a set of those yet. Uh, these are shipping on our recent orders with our 4x5 film holder and a few of our other accessories. So let me demonstrate how you would change the plates out if your ProMount Mark II looks more like this and just has our standard 2.5 millimeter screws in place. I'm gonna take a 2.5 millimeter hex key and just attach it and unscrew these four screws. And when you're not on camera, you'll probably do this faster than I'm doing it right now. What I'm actually gonna do though, for the purposes of this video, is uh, use our thumb screws on the other ProMount Mark II that's right in front of me. And just demonstrate how that's a little bit, a little bit faster of a way to work. All right. So the thumb screws on the ProMount Mark II I was showing you earlier, they just very quickly unthread. And that plate's gonna drop out. Take that plate out of the way. And we're gonna put our Film Carrier 120 adapter plate into our ProMount Mark II. Um, it's a symmetrical, kind of identical design on, on each side. Uh, so no need to try and figure out which side goes where, just slide the plate into place. And then we're gonna thread these thumb screws back in very quickly. And we're just about ready to go to scan 120 film with our film carrier 120. So usually what I'll do is I'll tighten each one a little bit and then I'll go back around and fine tune and tighten them down the rest of the way. 
Now that your film carrier 120 adapter plate is securely mounted to your ProMount Mark II, simply take your film carrier 120, find the four attachment points on the adapter plate, and mount the film carrier 120 securely in place. Once that's done, take your dust removal brush and mount it on the end of your ProMount Mark II, and you're ready to scan rolls or strips of 120 film. To change over to the 4x5 film holder, simply undo the thumb screws on your ProMount Mark II. Currently, we have a Film Carrier 120 adapter plate in place. So once the screws are out, we'll remove that plate and load our 4x5 film holder into place. Simply put it underneath the ProMount Mark II, slide it into place, and start by threading the screws two or three turns on each corner. Typically, I will alternate corners. And once you have each of the screws in place with a few turns, you're gonna then go back around and tighten them down the rest of the way. So that fourth screw, I'll go ahead and tighten it down the rest of the way. And now I'm just gonna fine tune and make sure everything is nice and lined up and tighten down the rest of the screws. Now I'm ready to scan four by five inch film. One of the last features I wanted to share about our ProMount Mark II is its adaptability not only to our 5x7 Light Source Pro, but also to our 4x5 Light Source Basic. I'll start by showing you the 5x7 Light Source Pro. Included with your Light Source Pro is going to be an adapter plate for our ProMount Mark II. Simply put that adapter plate in place, it will drop in and securely stay there. And then take your ProMount Mark II, find the four openings for the feet of your ProMount, and put it in place. Then you're ready to turn on your light and scan your film using our 5x7 Light Source Pro. The last thing I want to demonstrate for you today is how our ProMount Mark II works quickly and easily with our 4x5 Light Source Basic. Right when you take your light out of the box, you'll find that the ProMount Mark II isn't going to be tall enough to hover over it unless you undo the leveling feet just a bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to undo these uh, two or three full turns. And then I'm gonna slide that over our 4x5 light source basic, and you're ready to scan. Thanks again for tuning in today to watch all about our ProMount Mark II. And if you thought this content was exciting, you'll be even more excited by the other videos we're launching this year and next, and we can't wait to share those with you. The most express way to learn about that content is to subscribe to this channel here, and if that's not enough, you can see more exciting content from Negative Supply on our Twitter and Instagram accounts, they're both linked down below. And you can learn more about our ProMount Mark II and other products to revolutionize the way you scan your film at the link in the description. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.